Hello and welcome to the channel. So I was just out here in the evening starting to plant up some of my perennials and some different flowers, some different pollinators that I want to plant here in my lasagna garden bed, which is located pretty close to my garden here. And I thought I better do some filming and capture what I'm doing so I can share it with you. Because this year I'm very excited to have another watering plan um, for this area. It was really tough to keep it watered and uh, the flowers didn't do so well. The perennials always struggle in my yard. A lot of them never make it through the winter, but every spring I try again and got a bunch here that I want to try planting up. So what I've done is I purchased a 50 foot soaker hose here and I got it all connected and ready to roll. But what I'm doing is I'm just, I laid it all out here in my garden bed, turned it on just to see how it works. And it's, as you can see, there's still some water here, but yeah, it just seeps out water. And as you can see, it spreads pretty quickly. So I'm hopeful that this is gonna be helpful to my garden this summer and things will grow. This is my very pathetic sunflower patch that's gotten attacked by some kind of bug that's been eating the leaves. I've had that happen to my lettuces already too. I think it's a flea beetle. So I did throw some de-earth, sprinkled some around here and it seemed to have stopped the problem, but I think I need to keep on top of that or I'm gonna be losing a lot of my little leafy greens this year. So I'm gonna just start planting and kind of keep the plants close to where this um, hose is laying so that they're gonna get the moisture and just kind of use that as my guide and just get planting. Okay, so I have been adding in some flowers, uh, leftover annuals that I didn't have room for in my pots. I've been just throwing them in the ground here. I got a bunch of perennials planted up. I got some seeds planted here and there. So I'm just basically looking for little spots where I can stick some more plants in. And this is one of my winter sowing jugs here. This is chamomile. This always does really well. Uh, in the winter sowing method for me. So I'm going to stick some of that in this spot right here right now. So I've got my hori hori knife here which works great for digging in to these spots. In the lasagna garden you have lots of layers of different materials that I've been piling on over the past couple years. So I'm just going to try and make a good spot here for all this chamomile to go in. And like I say, I'm always trying to keep it in line with the uh, soaker hose here. So it'll get watered. This is great for digging out, you know, small roots and stuff as well. So usually I just try to keep it, I'm not going to try and separate this, I don't think. It should come out fairly easy. As you can see, there's a lot of roots happening there. I did plant these fairly thick in the winter sowing jugs, but I'm just going to break it up a little bit. Try to spread it out. Give those roots some room to grow. Just going to add a little bit more of my potting soil mix that I made up. Then I'll just push back some of these, this mulch just to cover it up. Once I think I got enough stuff here in my lasagna garden bed, then I will do some mulching. There's always going to be quack grass coming up, but it's very easy to maintain. You just keep piling on more materials. I don't worry too much about weeding. You'll never win the battle against quack grass, that's for sure. I like to grow chamomile and mint in my lasagna garden bed every year, picking it throughout the summer and uh, drying it to make tea or to use in my skincare products.
So I received these Watson gardening gloves for Mother's Day gift this year, and I absolutely love them. I never realized what a difference it made having good quality gardening gloves. These gloves really fit well. They are water resistant, and whenever they do get wet, they dry out really fast. As you can see, I've been giving them a really good workout already this season. And one great thing about them also is that they are made from 96% recycled PET bottles. So one 500 ml bottle is used to make one pair of gloves. So as I said, I got quite a few things planted up here in my lasagna garden bed. And as you can see, the quack grass likes to creep its way in. It's always an ongoing battle. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my lawnmower with the mulcher to do some mulching here on the edge and try to keep that uh, quack grass at bay. So this is what it looks like after I have d done my borders with grass clippings. This is how I edge my lasagna garden bed. Those grass clippings will form a nice mat and hopefully keep the quack grass at bay. It doesn't really look great but I think over time all the flowers will start growing, spreading out and the color will kick in and you won't even notice what's on the ground. So over the next month or so, as things start to grow and blossom, I'll probably be adding more flowers. Who knows what you can find at the greenhouse at the end of the season that you might want to bring back home and stick into your garden. Dried leaves, wood chips, straw, hay, all those materials work great to uh, just put around your plants, keep the weeds down. And over time, all that material just breaks down, adds more organic matter to the soil, and just makes a great place for flowers to grow. So I hope you enjoyed watching me set up and maintain my lasagna garden bed for another season. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching, happy gardening.